Hey guys, it's Pereira from PD Tech HD, and as some of you may know that follow me on Twitter, last Friday I went to the Insight Technology Show in London, and at the event I recorded three videos, the first being a look at BlackBerry 7 on the Bold 9900, the second being a look at Microsoft Surface on a Samsung device, and the third being a video showing iOS and Android vulnerabilities, so I hope you enjoy those videos, and let's get started. Uh, this is the, the BlackBerry 9900, and here's a quick demo. Hey, see this is the home screen? If you want to uh, get all, to all your applications, press the menu button. If it's a maximized panel, you have your emails, your texts, your contacts, your internet browser, media player, calendar, YouTube, your BlackBerry Messenger app, Facebook, Twitter, with instant, messen inst instant messenger folder for more instant messaging apps, for your applications, Your games, you can add more games through the app world. No one clearly we can't. Uh, here's the YouTube. You, you could go to YouTube, watch some videos, or you could upload videos, your own videos. Your social feeds, you can connect with our, your own Twitter and Facebook. With your profiles, your help, and your power off. And that's how you lock it. Okay, so in this video we're taking a look at Microsoft Surface on a Samsung device and you can see that basically in this case uh, we're just clothing a uh, soldier. So we're just equipping him with a gun and trousers and stuff and you can see it's really interactive. Uh, you can resize it um, as you'll see now. So you can resize the window and um, there's many sort of little fun apps like this on Microsoft Surface. I just installed an app, that's all I've done, okay? Now, using my iPhone or any one of your phones in fact, it's very clever. I remember to change my pin before I broadcast it to the world. Um, I can send a text message from any other device to this Android, and this is how it goes. I was going to do this live, but you can see I did it today at 11.21. We realized I couldn't do it down here. So I send the first text that says, this is your master, from the iPhone. That text never arrives on here. See, there's no text here. This, this number at the top. This is, not, this is not my iPhone, this is a test SMS, and I'll show you why that's there later. These SMSs never arrive here because the, cop, the, the malicious app is taking that incoming SMS, acting on it, deleting it, and never displaying it to the user. So I don't know that my phone is receiving commands. So if I said this is your master, I get a reply back from the Android, I'm ready to serve you. So then I'll send it another command, just to check out what the current configuration is. Slave status, calls by enabled false, SMS spy enabled false. Okay, well I need to be able to intercept all the phone calls on this device and I need to be able to steal all of the SMSs on this device because I'm very interested in the executive who owns this device and I'm selling their corporate information on the underground for large amounts of money. Um, so I'll send calls by enable and I'll send SMS by enable. And just to um, belt and braces, I can send slave, slave status again and it'll tell me calls by enable true SMS by enable true. So I'm happy now that my software is active. Any incoming telephone calls to that device will be intercepted, recorded, and written into storage. Any incoming SMS will be intercepted, and a copy will be written into storage, local storage on this device. Um, we put some other cool commands in as well. You can see uh, monitor now one. So if I send the monitor now command, I don't have to wait for a telephone call. I can just remotely activate the microphone for one minute, or two minutes, or ten minutes, whatever. So monitor now one, turns the microphone on, and while they're sitting in the boardroom discussing next year's strategy, I can record the whole meeting. That recording is written into storage. Um, there's another command, um, Big Brother, again with a number, I can activate the video camera for X amount of minutes and film whatever the camera can see. Probably less useful because we always put them on the table, but it's a proof of concept. So, having done all that, it's kind of scary that I can intercept all of that information on the phone so easily without compromising the device. But you might say, yeah, it is worrying, but all of that information that you stole is still on this device, so you still need to get that mobile phone to be able to copy the stuff off that you've stolen. Of course, that's not the case, because my app also requested internet access when you installed it. So I send another command, which is upload files. So it takes all of that stuff from storage, the recorded audio, the SMSs and everything else, and uh, uploads it to SendSpace, and then sends me an SMS back 
with the URL where I can then go and download all of that stolen information. And all of this is without any user interaction. And actually the, the Trojanized app that, that we built for Android just looks like a camera. So when you open it, it activates the camera and you think it's a camera to take pictures. How many people have installed alternative cameras on their mobile devices? I know I have on my iOS. That's the kind of stuff that people want. Especially if you tell them it will increase the megapixels of their device from three to seven. Wow, why that? How does it doesn't do that, does it? It's nonsense. Uh, so I'm gonna take, you can see the URL here, I'm gonna take that. If we can switch back to the so we should see one phone call, one minute of recorded audio and uh, that text message. There you go, so here's some stuff. Um, I don't think the audio on this laptop is connected so there's not much I can play you from an audio perspective, but this should be the text that you saw. There you go, this is, is to Android, that's the SMS that you saw on that device. Just to show you that I can't do it live down here and it's really cool when I can. This is real, this stuff was stolen, uh, it was uploaded to public, public accessible web space, um, and here, what have we got? Monitor, so this should be one minute long. It's a general conversation. Monitor now one. Okay. Um, so it's quite clear audio as well. There's a thing that I'm not sure what's great. And there's another command called um, Big Brother, which will have to make a video camera on the phone as well. So if you did just send me a text message, from online. From anywhere, it doesn't matter. So you can see there it's. Right, so not that you gave me that. Right, no. Okay. That's, that's the reality of the risk when it comes to mobile devices. That didn't rely on any software vulnerability, any bit of bad coding. It just relied on me creating something which I could persuade somebody else they wanted and upload to an app store, a copy of Angry Birds, something, anything. Or, in a more traditional industrial espionage situation, I just quickly, for a couple of seconds, need access to someone's phone, type in a URL, press go, and it will install the app for me, then I can put the phone down again. Once the app's installed, that's all I care about. Everything else is done by SMS, remotely, and the victim never sees it happen. And that's real and easy and simple to do. That was just kind of a, like a proof of concept that I wanted to, to share with you. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed those three videos. Please leave me a comment down below saying which one was your favourite. And uh, please be sure to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Sorry if the last one was a bit too long, but it was quite a good demo and I thought that it would be worthwhile to share it with you guys. Uh, please be sure to subscribe to the channel for more tech content. Please be sure to watch my last video, which was a tweet deck update to version 1.3. And um, yeah, guys, thank you for watching so much. I appreciate your feedback. Uh, please keep supporting and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.